what's up guys welcome back so today apple released some new updates and in this video i'm going to be covering some of those so we begin by looking at ios 12.5.1 it was released to all supported devices and just in case you are curious ios 12.5.1 is supported from the iPhone 5s and then the iPhone 6 also supports iOS 12.5.1 and also the iPhone 6 plus this device supports that and if you are updating and you want to update your older device these are the devices that are supported and also if you have an iPad the iPad mini first gen and second gen are supported on iOS 12.5.1 so it's a very small update file that came in for most of these older iPhones as you can see there isn't much that at this point Apple is going to change when it comes to these other devices but Apple actually did an update that is crucial considering the time that we are living in so if you updated your device and you go into your settings and then you go to where it says exposure notifications here so for me this is what you are seeing and the reason why I actually can turn on exposure logging or exposure notification is because this isn't supported in my region so for you to be able to turn on exposure notification or covid logging you, it has to be supported in your region so it's something that was there before but apparently there was an issue with that and that is why apple released ios 12.5.1 for the other iphone devices like the iphone 5s 6 and 6 plus and also if you have an ipad mini like first and second gen you can actually update your device and if your region has the exposure notification uh, accessible and also it has turned it on it's something that you can easily turn on and set and this time around i believe it's it's working more secure so that is the main reason why apple released ios 12.5.1 for all the iphones like this iphone 5 there was no update but this could be something that is coming later on of course this device does not support exposure logging so there's no update for this and the update that we are talking about that came out is for the iphone 5s and newer and it goes all the way to the iphone 6 plus now if you have an iphone that supports ios 14 not like this iphone 6s that you see here there actually isn't an update yet for ios 14 so when it comes to ios 14.3 and also for ios 14.4 which is on beta 1 at this time so for example on this iphone if we go into settings and then go to general and then go to software update you can see that the current software update that I have is iOS 14.4 developer beta. This is beta 1 and it's the same update that I have on my other iPhone here that you can see. So if you go into settings and then go to where it says general and go to the about this iPhone section, you can see the build number that we have that it has an E at the end. So this is beta 1 and most of the issues that quite a number of people are experiencing when it comes to iOS 14.4 beta 1 and ios 14.3 which is the current official version that is out at this time are more or less the same so the first issue that i'm getting complaints about has to do with battery battery seems to be a big issue when it comes to these ios 14 updates and it's affecting many devices irregardless of whether you are using like an iphone 6s which is the oldest supported devices or perhaps the iphone 12 or the iphone 12 pro so the first one has to do with battery and just in case you're curious for me if i go into the settings of my iphone here and go to the battery section that you see there you can see my battery health is actually on 85 and it's been on 85 actually since updating to ios 14.3 so that is good it hasn't dropped but then if you go here where it shows the battery level and you go to the last 10 days you can actually see the drain that i'm experiencing so you can see this sharp drain here and basically if we're to choose like a day let's choose like su sunday you can see that i basically got something like six or so hours using about 70 percent of charge on this device and then that
that is the the darker blue that you see there is when i use my device on battery and then the lighter blue that you see there is when i used my device while connected to a charger if we look at something like last week you can see that i actually got about 10 hours of screen on time and also the associated battery percentage that i used was actually like 200 percent so that was like charging this device two times it's not the greatest so battery is an issue when it comes to ios 14.4 beta 1 and apparently it's also an issue when it comes to ios 14.3 it's a thing that quite a number of people have complained about before and it seems that like still at this time irregardless of whether you are using an old or newer device it's an issue that is persistent the other thing that i've experienced on this iphone when it comes to ios 14.4 has to do with lagging so sometimes you are in your applications and you are browsing like this and then you see like the phone dropping some frames it's quite old and it's something that happens occasionally i can't always recreate it manually but it's something that just happens like if you're browsing like this or switching between applications like this it's something that just happens and uh, it's affecting most iPhones that don't have the physical home button for me I've experienced it on this iPhone but on my other iPhones I haven't yet experienced it so that is also another issue and another issue has to do with the notifications so some people aren't getting notifications when it comes to iPhone ios 14.4 beta 1 and also when it comes to mac os big sir some people are tweeting and some are dming me when it comes to mac os that they are not getting their notifications and you know i try and help where i can and if i don't get to you in time yeah just keep in mind that i get quite a number of messages and also it's an issue that not just one person is experiencing but i'm getting quite a number of them that they are not getting notifications on mac and also as you can see it's something that's there on ios 14.4 beta one the other thing has to do with bluetooth from time to time bluetooth connections might drop and even though you are using apple products like the airpods or airpods pro sometimes auto switching doesn't work or they just disconnect by themselves and it's an issue also that is there on ios 14.4 and slightly there on ios 14.3 those are some of the issues that are there so as you can see we actually need an update and we need it soon and i'm happy to tell you that we actually can expect something very soon as you can see you can see the date this is the date today right here but last year actually there was an update during this week of the 11th to the 15th so around about the same time last year there was an update and as you can see it took some time since apple uh, took like the last two weeks of december off and this week i believe is the week that we are going to start seeing some updates and as you can see since today on the 11th apple released ios 12.5.1 for other devices we can expect something as early as tomorrow that is the 12th of january 2021 so we could be seeing ios 14.4 beta 1 as early as tomorrow the 12th or somewhere between the 12th and the 14th usually apple releases these updates somewhere either on a tuesday or thursday so something between those dates we could be seeing ios 14.4 beta 1 and when it comes to some other updates that we could actually be seeing if we go to the apple developer website so when it comes to some updates that i think we could be seeing as early as tomorrow or this week between tuesday and thursday we could be seeing an update when it comes to ios 14.4 beta 2 at the moment as you can see this beta 1 and then also ipad os 14.4 beta 2 we could be seeing that and watch always 7.3 beta 2 is something also that we could be seeing and tvos 14.4 beta 2 those are most of the updates that i believe we could be seeing this week between the 12th to the 14th but when it comes to macOS pixel apple usually tries to delay macOS updates but 
at other times they release them on the same day or the following day when they release a beta ios update so for mac it could come out but it could also be released as apple has been quite reserved when it comes to these mac os updates so basically that's just a brief update if you have a supported device and you want to use your covid notification or exposure logging properly then it's something that you can update to and you can use it on your other devices and also when it comes to ios 14.4 beta 2 it's something that we can expect very soon and for mac i know i have quite a number of people that are experiencing issues on mac irregardless of whether they are on beta or not so i'll do something for you very soon and basically that's about it for me when it comes to just a brief update when it comes to these apple updates and if you like this video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed a sub would be great stay safe and i will see you in the next video very soon Peace.